I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open and in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. To get the answer to question number one right, we've got to pay attention to the context presented beforehand and the example answer, because it says here a bit under the weather. If you're under the weather, it means that you're feeling a little bit unwell, perhaps you're feeling a little bit sad. And if that's the case, you do retail therapy as a way to make yourself happy again. And that's exactly what question number one is getting at here. It's about in a way to make yourself happy. So the answer that we've got to choose for question number one has got to uh, match with the idea of making someone ha happy and the language pattern. If we have a look at the answer, um, you can't say comforts them up, you can say cheers them up, you can say takes them up, but it means something completely different, and raises them up is also okay, but means something completely different. So here the only possible answer is B, cheers. For question number two, what we need here is the answer to complete the expression in the long what. Because it's an expression, this is a pure vocabulary question. If you don't know what it is, make sure you know it from now. The answer is in the long run, which is why the answer is D. For question number three, the answer that we choose has got to fit the language pattern, yes, but it's also got to mean the correct thing in terms of context. The context suggesting that retail therapy might make you move in the direction of having shop or getting uh, succumbing to shopping addiction or having lots and lots of debt, making you move in that general direction. So the answer has got to refer to movement or progress in some way. And the only one answer that does that is A, step. For question four, only one of the answers actually fits this particular language pattern with the preposition as after the gap. All of the other answers require different language patterns. So what is this one answer that we uh, that is the correct answer? It is regarded, which is brilliant because regarded as means the same as believed to be, which is exactly what this sentence is trying to say. For question five, what we need is a phrasal verb which basically means the same as results in. Um, this results in a, a, a brown 4.45 kilometers, 193 calories burned. So which one of these phrasal verbs means the same as results in? Um, gets around, no. Nope. Gives over, no. Nope. Makes up, no. Nope. Works out, C, yes. For question number six, the key thing here is the language pattern. What we've got here is a gap followed by an infinitive form. Only one of the answers fits this particular language pattern, and that is A, tend, because people tend to stay out longer. For question number seven, what we need here is a piece of vocabulary that basically means the source of something or where something comes from. We've also got to take into account the preposi preposition of after the gap. If we put all of those things together, the only answer that does fit that language pattern and collocates with of is D, root. For question number eight, the key word that we need to pay attention to is the word that. Because that introduces a language pattern with uh, that only one of the answers can fit. What is the answer that works with this language pattern? The answer is B, provided. Provided, of course, that dot 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 dot. 